Okay, let's start with going over how to change the uh, tuning of these tracks. I'll just send this back over to you once I do it. But it's important to know in order to do this for yourself for other things. Yeah, so right now you see it says it's tuned down a whole step. So what you need to do is make sure this is on. So that right panel is open. And then you got to go over here at the track. And down here you click on the tuning. And then click right here, put it back to standard. Now this part is very important. You have to hit keep the fingering. This way all the frets stay the same. And then you got to make sure you do that for all the tracks that you'd be playing along with. So now I want to open up that. And then basically just click on all this stuff and change it. And then it looks like the last thing are the drums. You don't need to change anything there because, well, there's nothing, uh, you can't change the pitch of the drums. So no need to do that. And there you go. That's how you change it. Now, we, now everything will play in standard tuning so you can play along with the track. And I'll send that over to you. All right. Now... Let's get to demonstrating this guy. So, still need some technique to get improved. So I want you to start with three notes per click. Go up in fives from 60 to 120. Then you can go back to 60 and start going up in twos by playing and play six notes a click. So make don't skip out on going 60 to 120 in the fives. Because we need to get the technique improved as well. Not just the speed, we need the technique to be there, we need the rhythm to be accurate. Alright, so one, two, three, four. And then at the 120, one, two, three, four. Back to 60, doing it six notes per click. One, two, three, four. And the 120. One, two, three, four. Actually, you know what? Back to 60. One, two, three, four. 1, 2, 3, 4, 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and there we go. All right, any questions come up, let me know. I will see you again next week.